Okay, I have been obsessed with this Flexi Raw style, so I had to show you guys, especially because I only use two products on my hair to get this look. So let's get into it. So first things first, I washed my hair yesterday. Um, I did let it air dry overnight in these two braids. It is still is damp, um, but I am gonna be using a spray bottle just to re-wet a little bit of the frizzy pieces. So this is about the size for the first piece I'm gonna take. And first up is my Frizz Fix. This is a smoothing hair primer, y'all game changer and then second i'm going to be using this blowout cream which also has heat protectant in it and it cuts down on your drying time and i will say this time around um it took me a lot less time for my hair to dry versus the other two times that i've done this style So you really don't need a lot of product as you can see. So first I'm going in with the Frizz Fix and then second I'm gonna go in with the Blowout Cream. But the first two times I did this style, I also used leave-in instead of the Blowout. So you can use a Frizz Fix and a leave-in or Frizz Fix and then like a styling product. So these are the three rods that I'm gonna be using. The purple I'm starting with in the back and I like to do the twist method or like the spiral method. So instead of just rolling up flat, I like to kind of twist the rod around and then roll it. So I'm gonna do it a few times just so you guys can see. I like to secure it at the end and then do a twisting motion and then roll. Um, and I do like to keep my hair close to each other. If you do separate it a little bit, it can elongate the curl, which is why I did that in the back. So once I get like up where there's a little bit of hair left, then I just roll it as normal and then secure. So let me show y'all again so you guys can get the motion. This is going to give you that more spiral afro look. Um, I really want it to be a lot of volume and um, like a circle-y afro kind of style. So that's why I'm doing these spiral curls. It's definitely, like I said, going to give you a different curl than if you would just roll your hair up the rod. So now once I get to my crown area, I'm going to do everything forward. And I'm also going to make sure I do one in the middle directly so that I don't have a middle part and it's um, more so the curls in the middle. So I like to do three in this section, two on the outside and one in the middle instead of parting down the middle because I want that fuller bang look at the top and I want everything to have a lot of volume and go forward. So avoid any middle parts at this point. And then once I get to the front, I'm gonna be using the blue because I do have bangs. So this part of my hair is shorter and a little thinner. Um, so I want the curl to be a little tighter, but you can use the orange as well. So here is the whole thing. And y'all, this is a game changer right here. So I have this portable hair dryer. I recommend everybody get something that's portable. That way you can move around. Um, I was able to get some work done. I've been working on something I'm so excited about. Um, placing some orders from Monate. You guys have been loving the products. So like always, my quiz and my link to really, really amazing hair products is always in the description box. And so, yeah, I was able to get this dry in three hours, guys. Um, and I know that is a big chunk, but believe me when I tell you, my drying time was so much faster this time. So now here is the takedown. I'm just going to unravel everything. You really want to be super gentle and Oh my gosh, I can't stress this enough. Please make sure your hair is dry before you take it down because if not, the style is just not gonna come out right. You have to make sure your hair is dry. That's the number one thing I want you to take away from this video. All right, so once I have everything out and good to go, 
Uh, first off, look how short and like, look how this look. Like, no, we got to do some uh, separating here. So I'm going to take my oil. You guys know I cannot live without this oil. It has 13 essential oils in it. You can use it for a hundred different uses on hair and skin. And I love to just coat my fingers with this while I'm separating um, because you're going to see in a minute, I am going to cause some frizz, but that's just because I'm just rough and I'm going to be picking the heck out of it. Um, but if you want it to be more tamed, you can do like this right here where you're using the oil and really separating uh, the curls and just feeling for where they naturally want to separate and then twisting around to keep them intact. But y'all look how good it looks already with just those two products. Like my hair looks so shiny. It looks so soft. It feels soft. Like y'all. And you've seen, I did not use a lot. Like when I pumped in my hands, like these products are literally everything. So you can stop here, but I need some volume. I need some length. So I'm about to stretch my hair out. I love stretching my hair. And what you want to do is hold on to your ends, okay? You want to only put heat on the roots. If you put it on the ends and you take the curls out, then it's going to look a hot mess. So hold on to the ends and just run the uh, blow dryer on the top and look at the difference between from when I stretched it to not like this side is so much longer. The other side is not even past my shoulder. Um, and then when you get to the top, you want to just pull your hair up and forward to get that volume. And yeah, I like to really stretch all over. Honestly, I don't mind having a little bit of frizz going on. But like I said, if you don't want frizz, you can still stretch your hair. Just make sure you be a little bit gentle and don't like over pluck. And then last but not least, just to give me just a little bit more, I have been um, loving the pick lately. I never really used to use picks on my hair, but look at that. I mean, when I picked that bang part, it just stood up so much more. So I really do enjoy using the pick. But again, this part is optional. As you can see, I kind of went a little ham in that front section. So it is a little bit more frizz than I would like, but it still looks really, really amazing. And my hair feels feels great, smells great. Um, and this style normally lasts me four or five days. Um, I just wrap it up at night. So, and if I do want to kind of refresh that curl, I'll take some big chunks and um, wrap the flexi rod around it and sleep with that at night. So that is definitely an option for you. So I'm going to finish off by putting a little bit more oil on my hands and just rubbing that on. And off camera, I sprayed on my glossy shine mist. Oh my God, it smells so freaking good. Like that literally lingers on for days. So I love it. So here is the final results. Let me know if you guys try out this flexi rod set routine. And if you want the products that I used on my hair, link is down below. Okay. So let me get you hooked up. Let me get you some bomb results and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.